Hello, how you doing? My name is Derek Fox and in this video I'm going to show you how to create a new blog post using WordPress 3.0. So the first thing that we need to do is we need to actually log in. So we go to our domain name forward slash WP dash admin. And what will come right to your dashboard and then over here on your side you're going to see posts. So what we want to do is click on add new post and what you'll see is that now it's gone ahead and created an area for you to, to create your post. Now if you can send an email you can update your WordPress website. So the first thing that we'd like to do is create a tile, a title. How to create a WordPress post. Okay, very simple. You just add the title in and now as you can see it automatically created a permalink and this is this is allowing you to be able to share this link if you need to so if you need to put it in an email or anything like that you can do that you can also come in here and edit it so let's just say we were gonna call it WordPress post click OK now we've shortened it now we have an awesome link that we can just copy and paste and share okay um, if yours is not coming up like this, please uh, look into later tutorials on how to change permalinks, which is down here in the bottom left-hand corner. Okay, so now um, let's talk about some of the other features. Now, if you want to upload an image or a video, you can click on these links here. Um, I'm not going to cover this now. I can go over that in later video. Um, and then you also have visuals. So if you want to look at what you're typing you can do that or you can click HTML if you're a little bit more advanced and you want to do any sort of coding um, by hand you can do that as well so what I wanted to do is kind of uh, show you the different features as far as the wiki editor it's just like Word uh, Microsoft Office uh, Word so it's very simple and easy to use it has all the basic features that you're going to use for 90 percent of all the work that you're going to do so we have bold and italicized strike through unordered list numbers quotations um, all the different things right up here now there's this there's two magic buttons right here that I like to show you one is you click and it'll actually go to full screen so that you can do any type of editing on the big screen and you can really get into what you're working on. Sometimes it's really hard to work here in this small area so it's really nice to have that button when you're trying to, to write a long article. This other button here is going to toggle the second navigation down here at the bottom. So um, if you want to hide that you can do that or you can click it. Now you're going to have these are the different font sizes that have been predetermined by your template which is also in your CSS. So if you want to just do a paragraph or an address and you have header one through six which is all the different sizes. Okay. Then uh, you have justified. You can color your font if you like. Now these two buttons are the most important are, are, are not the most important but very important and if you are if you are gathering text from the web or from Word um, or any other document usually there's going to be some really bad code in there that they use that's specific for them which is going to be bad for your website and there will be times where you actually go and add the content cut and paste it over and it's going to make your site look bad and it's not going to flow really well it's going to mess it up or maybe the page won't even load so what you're going to want to do is copy copy and paste the code into here, hit insert, and then it'll automatically remove all of that code. Now if you've already cut and pasted the code in or you're not happy with the way you've been formatting, you can select the text here and you can remove the coding. Okay, and then there's other features here that you can kind of play around with like undo and redo and, and indent. So what I want to do is just write a little content here. This is really an awesome video. Derek, you do such a great job. Let me go. Keep up. Keep up the good work. Okay? So now if we want to bold, we just click and bold. If we want to italicize, we can do that. Let's say we want to make this a list. Uh, we can do that. So as you can see, it's very simple to do. So let's say now I want to show you this button where you can get rid of the formatting. Let's say we want to remove the formatting. We'll get rid of the bold and italicize. We just click that button and boom, it's all gone. Okay. So that it, it's really simple. It's really awesome to use. And if you look on the HTML, it's automatically creating the HTML for you as well. 
Okay, so down here at the bottom you have excerpts, and what excerpts are, um, these, this is really uh, the short version or the summary of your post which is going to be used for searching. You can click here to learn more about that. Uh, trackbacks, this is where uh, WordPress sites that have similar content will automatically make link exchanges for you to help drive traffic to each other's sites, so you can activate that. Custom fields. Um, some some of the things use uh, some of the plugins uh, use custom fields, so you can learn more about those later. You can turn off commenting or trackbacks if you don't want that to happen, and then you can actually control the author right here. Uh, over on the side, you have all of your publishing features. So if we want to preview this, we can just click preview. And it'll actually show us a working version of what it would look like once we post it. Now, this is not live. And if you look up here in the URL, it says that it's just a preview. Okay. So we can preview or we can save the draft. Okay. So if we don't want to post it right now and we want to work on that later, we can actually do that. Okay. The other thing is status here. So we can do pending and review. So if we're, uh, you know, if we're just, if it's ready to go and we're just reviewing it, we can change that. Uh, visual edit, so do we want it to be public? And now sticky, uh, stick this post to the front page. Basically what this does is this will keep the post on the top. So as you add new posts, they'll go underneath it and this one will always stay at the top. So this is great if you have some sort of announcement or any sort of news that you want to keep on top of all of your other posts as you keep adding. This here is the password protect. So if you want to hide the page and only give the password out to specific people, you can do that. And this is private. This will hide it. It won't even show up in the blog post, but you can still send people to it by the URL. Okay, so we want to keep this public. And then we can decide if we want to post it uh, immediately or if we can actually set posts to go at a later date. So if I'm going on vacation, I can set it to go off on Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday while I'm gone, and it's all going to be automatic. So once you're done and you're ready to go, you can click post, okay, or publish right here. Um, now, if I'm not happy with it, I can just also uh, move it to the trash can uh, to delete it later. Now, categories down here, categories, these are big broad areas. So for example, this uh, specific post is going to be about WordPress. So I would just check WordPress. Uh, and then when they, uh, viewers want to come, they can sort all of these posts by the categories, which is going to make it really simple to allow them to find WordPress specific posts. I can come down here and I can add more posts uh, or uh, more categories down here. Now let's say that I want to do something. I want to add a quarter category called posts and I want to put that underneath WordPress, I can click Add New Category, and now it's categorized this category under WordPress. So you can really create some hierarchy and some different depth by using categories. So now I'm sure you've heard about um, some SEO or search engine optimization and adding keyword density. So are there, if there's specific keywords that you really want to target and you want to uh, try to get some traffic from you can actually enter those keywords here so like for example we can add video as a nice keyword we can also add WordPress again um, Twitter you know different things that are going to relate to this post we can add right into the post and that's going to help with search engine uh, placement and also optimization so also here uh, we have featured images, so you can actually add an image, and when they do a search or anything like that, it'll show a little image right next to it, so you can play around with that as well. So now let's click Publish, and now it is posted. I can click here, View Post, and you can see that now it is showing me what my post looks like. It's showing me where the entry has been posted, and then what the tags that have been assigned with it. So hopefully this has really helped. I know I went fairly fast, so please, you can watch it over and over again. And uh, this is again is how to create a post using WordPress 3.0.